Hi everyone and welcome to another episode to the Road of Endgame on Tap Titans 2 where Cell Rise myself drinks a cup of tea and plays a new game to Endgame which is currently I think max stage 96,000, 96, 98 and so far our max stage is at, let's check this bad boy out, uh, 55, sorry 50, I was going to say 55,000 I wish, uh, 5,500 so most importantly, have a cup of tea first. Well, I hope you're all um, safe and well and you're enjoying yourself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be going through... Well, I, first of all, and this, these videos are going to be a bit different. So I've done it with a colourful background and I'll, I'll add in my builds and artefacts and maybe some more interesting information as flash imagery now and again uh, let me know if you like prefer this style of video and editing compared to the old ones uh, and if there's any other changes you want let me know as well so first of all i just start on a, i've finished the tournament uh, unfortunately i didn't have much time to play because i've been working today but yeah so an up 29th which is pretty bad pretty bad to be honest but let's collect all the good goodies uh see where we are see what my artifacts are like what my current stage is like and then I'll be probably leveling up my books of shadows. Let's have a look at that, at what level books of shadows are. Yeah, I'll probably level up my books of shadows one more time. And then I might actually try to push. Because I, I, even though I did push in the tournament, I only pushed once. So I, I feel I can get maybe up to 6k today, maybe more. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, there's a lot of things I need to do. So obviously I need to log in, collect all your goodies. You must remember to do that always. So collect all goodies first. Do the raid, do your daily activities, and then we'll we'll prestige and start push push pushing. So again, remember to always every time you log in daily, uh, check your passive skills because they from strange some strange reason sorry, some strange reason there's no notifications for them, and uh, if you level them up, they they increase your speed time, uh, splash and skip. So it's well worth checking to make sure that they are leveled. I one skill points, so no major changes there. I am running a clan ship pet heart of Madas build. Uh, that is my build. If, you, if you're interested, that is my build. So this is based from the Tap Titans to Compadium website, where there's pre-builds and also uh, you can like resources on how to make your own build and has artifact optimizers, skill point optimizers, loads of fantastic tools. I will put a link to it in the description below. Also, I've done a video on how to use the website. Uh, that will be in a notification icon at the top right of this video. Uh, do apologize for my looks. I am, well, basically, I'm being lazy. I think I might grow a beard. There's a little spot there. But um, yeah, I think I might grow a stubble. Might grow a beard. I don't know. I, don't know. We, I haven't had a haircut for over a month and it's getting bushier, bushier. So I might as well just become a yeti. So, let me know if you guys are doing the same thing, or you're getting your partner or friends to shave your head for you. A lot of my friends have actually shaved their um, their, their dome, um, but uh, yeah, I, I, hmm. will I trust my wife with a blade on my head? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. I probably can't push anymore. I'm just prestige while I, on um. Instead of wasting time gain, gaining like 10 or 20 levels, I might quickly prestige and then uh, push some more. <sighs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting many stages. I am not gaining many stages at all. It's time to push. Come on. Oh, I could be double. I could be double dosing down here. I haven't done that yet. Hopefully, there's no other, and it'll be straight with the perk. We shall find out after this break. <laughs> wow, this is mighty fine. Look, maybe it's not accurate placing, but I'm. I'm seem to be just under Swordmaster's crotch. Well, I'm positioning my the camera. Headbutton is nuts. 
probably yeah it's about here so if I can go the shit's on my head that is so immature soul rise carry on and give some professional tap titan advice instead of mucking about editing God. let's prestige and how do I prestige I'm going to use the make it rain perk trick basically you uh, the make it rain this coin here this little perk thing you activate it and then you prestige as fast as you can and uh, what it does it carries over the majority of the goldage into your new run which just means you can level up higher level heroes than you would normally and just makes them run a little bit quicker uh, bish bosh bash oh, I can't wait to get to 10k and get auto on auto hero unlock This can be a bit tedious. Tedious. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tap, 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 tap. Ah, oh, transition screen. Uh, I've got asked this question before. Uh, I will try to answer the most common comments from the previous video. So I will try to uh, explain everything of what I'm doing, so the reasons why I'm leveling and some tips here and there as I go through the game. Uh, but we'll also try to add in from now on would be uh, your most answered most asked questions from the previous video so i'll try to do it as uh, an interaction with you guys and also try to answer because I, I tend to be finding finding to have the most like i'm tending to get the same questions asked in this in the videos again and again so if i answer those questions in the next video Hopefully it will stop the um, mo the most common questions getting repeatedly asked. So I will go through those in a bit. If you, if I haven't answered the question that you asked, feel free to comment on this video and ask again. If you've got any new questions you want to ask, leave a comment below and I will answer it in the next video. And I will give a shout out to the people that I'm answering to. There's no silly questions. Well, well, there is. There's obviously are silly questions, but no, don't don't feel embarrassed or think ah. Oh. Like, I think the most simplest question I've ever been asked is, um, how do you prestige? Or I think it's, oh, what was the other one is, I think this is some guy was playing for a few uh, for like a week or something, and he's never prestiged before because he worried that if if he prestiged. He would lose everything and have to start the game all over again even though it prompts you to do so like at the beginning uh, so i had no idea how he continued playing to be honest because it prompts you to do it uh but yeah he um didn't prestige for a couple of days so that must have been a boring game but uh yeah nothing's not you know unless you get told you don't know so feel free to ask feel free to ask daddy soul rise any questions meaning of life my favorite color will i get another pet mm. uh, don't ask when tap titan 3 is going to come out people always ask that when is tap titan 3 going to come out i don't know i'm a develop i'm not a developer um my my main answer to that question whenever that gets asked is when they stop updating this game when tap titans 2 stops becoming popular then answer that question that then no company will bring out a new version of something or something better if the original has no faults well i'll say no faults this has faults but you know if it's the if the original is doing well why why bring an update it's, it's kind of like releasing an apple phone and it's smashing the cells in the first week and then then releasing the next update of the mobile um of the iphone a week later you wouldn't do it if the cells are smashing for the roof why would you release the next version for no point so yeah no tap titans free for a while that is the answer to that question i really need to start raiding so i'm doing a, a semi a semi quick run now i've already shown you my i'm um, all gold it's fine so i've already shown you my my build so now look at my artifacts this is where my current artifacts is is at i've got 45 artifacts out of 97 and these are my levels i'll go for it slowly 
Ah, I say so, that was quite fast. Books of Shadows. Around about, they're all between 100 to 200. Uh, some of the ones that are towards my clan ship build, as for example, like Heroes Blades, it was all hero. I've leveled up higher, or for obvious reasons. A game of clan ship, because I'm doing clan ship builds, so that's leveled higher. Uh, Knight, because I'm running uh, Warlord. Got low skill points in Warlord, so that's, that's why that's leveled higher. And again, Hands of Madas, because it's my gold source. And Parchment, because again, Warcry, because I'm doing a uh, clan ship build. And these are my quality of life artifacts. When someone says quality of life, it's basically the, the ones that you can max out. Normally it's between 30 and 60, I think. Is it 30 and 60 or 30 and 50? I see no 60 ones. Oh yeah, there's one 61. Yeah, so they made, mainly they max out between 30 and 60. Uh, on the Tap Titan 2 Compadium website, I do show the artifact optimizer in a couple previous episodes. And this is one of the common questions I get asked. Why in the artifact optimizer, is there only 70 something artifacts? Why isn't there 97? Uh, the reason being is because it doesn't have the maxed artifacts because you can only level them to a max amount. They're excluded from the artifact optimizer because they're obviously a capped. So that's why it, it assumes you've already maxed these ones out. So just ignore that fact. Basically, if it's not in the list or in the artifact optimizer, then it's a quality of life artifact. And if you've got one of them, just max it out. Simple enough, just max it out. Uh, that explains the artifact optimizer. Now, another question I get commonly asked, um, WDF has asked, and other people have asked, saying, uh, I'm at X stage, I'm at 6K stage, I'm at 10K stage. Uh, when is the best time to change my build? Now, between 23 skill points and 1,000 skill points, clan ship build is predominantly the, the best build to have obviously this is not a set rule for everyone because obviously some people are different they might have different artifacts and might have uh, leveled it differently but for majority of people between 23 and a thousand skill points clan ship will be the best build now after a thousand skill points you can look at shadow clone or heavenly strike builds uh, the reason you need around about thousands because uh, you need a lot of skill points for them to be any decent to be splash, um, splashing through and also you need um, good mana regen to keep the perks up because they're very perk activated uh, sorry not perks skills they, do, they use a lot of active skills a lot so that's why you need a lot of mana regen so while you're saving up to a thousand skill points my tip would be keep buying fluffers buy as much fluffers as you can because that gives you mana regen and that will help when you when you finally have the time to do it and pet build if you've got a question about pet build because it's the amount of pet levels i would say like 5k plus 5 to 7k amount of worth of pet levels and you would probably need a majority of them over level 100 so you have the because uh, with pets you've got active and passives so if you get passives, you get when you reach certain milestones, like level 25, level 30, 35, or something like that. Um, so when you reach level 100, so you get 100% passive, that's, a, well, basically the majority of the passive are not. So if you get all the heroes to level 100 first, then that will be a good opportunity to look at pet build. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's not for a long time yet. Pet builds are good, but they don't tend to be used until late game players when you've got loads of pet levels and now back to what I'm doing because I'm outside the tournament I'm going to be leveling my bookshaw shadows so it's currently at 38 um, so lifetime relics LTR so I'm going to put all of it so a thousand into there and it brings up to like 45 nearly 50 nah not amazing but it's okay it's okay it's a start so I might do another run in putting everything to books of shadows just because I just want to make sure I always keep it high uh, with crafting I'm currently trying to get the noble fencer set so I'm one item away from getting that. That's increased my advanced start. And then after that, I will be saving my shards to get the Ancient Warrior set. 
those are my two sets that I am currently aiming for. Uh, is there any more goodies? No, no more goodies. Now, this uh, ne next question I have been asked by Michael, uh, also by who else asked the same question as well. Um, I believe this is the last episode, but they said uh, basically every time I'm, they notice when I max the, uh, prestige, I start at a higher stage than normal. And this is due to something called advanced start. Now, what advanced start does is that the higher the advanced start percentage you get, the higher the level is, the higher the stage will start once you prestige. So, say for example, I my max stage, my max cap level is 10,000, so stage 10,000, and I had a 90% uh, advanced start. When I prestige, I will start at stage 9,000. Now, obviously, when you first start the game, you don't have any advanced start. So if I did have zero, then when I uh, prestige at 10,000, I'll have, you know, basically start at like level 100 or something, very, very small. And that's why people tend to um, say, oh, I've, I've, you know, it takes me like an hour, an hour and a half runtime. Well, mine's about 10 to 20 minutes. So I can see why some people commenting asking, how are you doing that? How are you doing that? And the simple thing is, is your clan experience. So when you can join a clan, I think that's that stage 100, I can't remember. But when you be able to join a clan, the higher the clan XP, so that's, uh, mine's nearly 25K. So you, you normally tend to join low level clans because when you first join a clan, it does uh, clan recommendations like the clan directory, which is this bit, where you search for, for clans. Now they always have clans round about your stage level. So as you can see, I should be, because I'm, I'm at stage 5,500, I should be in clans that have like, look, 200, 0, 0, 0, 0. But because of my main account is nearly 80, uh, at stage 80, I've already got, lucky enough, I'm already in a quite decent level clan. It's not massively, I'll say it's like top 100. So because I've got quite high um, experience points, it's enabled me to do run times of like 10, 15 minutes instead of like an hour. So the main way to combat this is that search for a high level clan. The higher the experience point, the better the advanced start, so the quicker your run time. Uh, don't, don't use directory. So if you search for clans here, you're not gonna find any big ones. Uh, the best place to look is Reddit or Facebook, or you can join my Discord, there's a clan search there. Or even better, there's uh, Tap Titan's official Discord and they do a clan recruit uh, clan recruiting channel there so you can find clans there now when you first start big clans are not going to accept new players because obviously the lack of experience and the damage you can provide so my best my best way to do is just find anyone that's happy to accept you uh, maybe they're only at you know 4000 experience points 5000 experience points it doesn't matter it's still better than you know the hundred ones so just find ones that are willing to accept you uh, build up experience level up more you know and then when you reach a milestone like you reach maybe stage 10,000 then choose a clan that has you know 15,000 experience points or 20,000 experience points and then increase further and further so you have to do it in stages you're not gonna if you if you do find a clan that can, that can accept you with a high, very high experience points, well done. Uh, stay active, stay in that clan because that's really rare. But as I say, just join a clan that's with you know that's active, that people want to chat to you, um, and then you have time to play as well, and that will make a huge difference when you first play the game. It, it, it was instead of doing like an hour, hour and a half runs, it'd be like twenty minutes. And it means you can do more runs, you can level more, and it's just more fun. It's more fun. So that's another tip. Also, Noble Fencer. Now, that's one get Noble Fencer first, and that's the legendary set here. Uh, oh, wrong one, wrong tab. Here you go. Because this gives you straight away 25% advanced start. So, again, um, if, if, you've, if you've already got. I think my clan's got like 70% advanced start, that's why it's so high. But even if you're in a small clan and you get Noble Fencer, so your clan in gives you 25% and you get this, that's 50%. So again, that's already half of your stages cut. So, you know, again, if, it's take, if it takes you 
60 minutes. It'll probably take you then 30 minutes run time because you've half the stages you need to do just by joining a higher clan and 25% added to it. So yeah, look into it. Uh, now I'm going to do talking about clan XP. If you want to, if you are on a low level clan and you want to build it up, the way to do this is simple. Do clan raids, do as many as you can, be active because each clan raid, um, each clan attack you do and uh, lets you uh, points and also when you do finish it, the rewards, you get raid XP uh, and clan XP when you complete it, which is very important. So let's uh, just do this now and see which one's attacks I should be doing. Bish bosh bash. And again, if you want information about um, raiding, about which best decks to use, which titans and everything you need to know about raiding, I've done a video on that as well. In the, uh, I'll add it to notifications icon at the top right of this video and description below if you want to find out more about that. Uh, my mic's wobbling, I'm shaking the desk so much. So what I'm doing is like doing little circles. That's where you can get your attack rate higher. It's a bit higher, um, harder because I'm using a mouse on the PC instead of uh, the mobile phones. Uh, I've got another question from Patrick and when's the best time to start spending mythic shards? Uh, so basically what I would normally do, so the best time to spend uh, mythic sh uh, shards is when you've got enough for a mythic item, uh, get the item uh, straight away. If, if you're just before tournament, like tournament's during one day, wait until you join the tournament and then get one. Because uh, one mythic item is really powerful. We have three bonuses to it, and, and it tends to be the most um, powerful equipment at that time. Now, there's two things you must remember to do: always be at the highest level you can. So, if you've been holding back and not pushing, push as far as you can first, then get it. Because the um, the equipment items level higher, the higher the max stage you are. So say for example you're at 5k because you've been not pushing all week but you you know you're saving to push for the tournament push first because the equipment will be weaker when you, if you got it at a 5k than if you would have got it at a 6k stage so push first so join the tournament push as far as you possibly can then get it so the level of the equipment is higher and um, then as, as I said if you that's just before tournament if you just finish tournament and it's, I don't know, three days, four days to the next one, uh, then I would I still get the uh, mythic item then, because then you've got a powerful item to help you grind and push more for the next two, three days. You could save it if you want to, but I tend to get it straight away just so I can push a bit, well, like a level a bit faster, farm a bit faster. And um, again, you don't have to wait until you've got uh, it's 700 shards to complete a full set. I wouldn't wait until you've got 700 shards to get the full set. I'll get one piece at a time because it would take you weeks, maybe months to get 700 shards unless you spend money. And in that time, you could have used the equipment to give you extra power to reach higher stages and level further. So you're potentially wasting weeks and weeks of growth by just hoarding those shards. So don't worry about saving it. And talking about um, items, if you get even mythic items or a full set, if they become weak or the or you don't use them anymore, it's okay to sell them. Sell them for diamonds to buy more pets because even if you sell it, you still get the set bonus and it still shows as the item being active. So I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So if I go to my equipment, once I've submitted that raid damage. Alright. So if I go to my equipment items, uh well, quickly gonna do this little so he's doing something okay so if I go to my uh, equipment so look at this item this is called um, floor floor fragrance let's see something that I have sold and I've got a full set of and I'll give you an idea okay look anniversary gold set I've got a full set it's all activated all pieces are activated but as you can tell I no longer have that item I don't have any of those items I'm aware of um, in the set anymore. No, I don't think so. Yeah, so all these items I've already sold. So I've sold them um, because they're weak. I don't use them anymore. 
and I've still kept the active bonus. So even if I sell items, so if, for example, even that one, because I've had it and it's highlighted, even if I sold it, that box will still say still uh, still keep highlighted. Or, or sorry, still will be highlighted. So don't worry about selling those items. You don't have to keep the full set to keep the bonus. Just keep that in mind. Now, always got to remember to check your equipment matches your highest hero. So that's ranged, and my highest damage hero is also ranged, which is good. Look at that invisible fairy. That's definitely a glitch, man. I, uh, a bit of an explanation about equipment. Um, I have been asked about uh, what, how do you know which is the right equipment and stuff. So going from this, from left, this is your weapon, your helmet, your um, armor, your aura, and then your slash. That's the name of them. So um, it's going to be a sword, or yeah, sorry, sorry, sword, helmet, chest, aura, and then slash. That's the name of them. Now, what they specifically do, so weapon will be um, like a critical all damage tap or hero, something along that effect. You can add to it. Uh, most most people tend to use obviously all, all hero damage for uh, clan ship build. All damage is technically the best if it's really high level. And then it could be crit damage for uh, shadow clone or heavenly strike, and then tap damage for a pet build. So they're normally equipped based on build. Now the helmet is one of the most important when you first start because your hero tends to be your most, especially if you're using a clan ship build your heroes tend to be the uh, the main uh, power of your of your push or of your build so your heroes are mainly the main source of power that's pushing you for each stage so you always got to make sure that your helmet this one is leveled at the same as your highest damage hero you've got so if you find you're going a bit slow just quickly double check this uh, so it's always good to make sure you've got one of each, one of each. So, you, you know, one range, one spell, one melee. So you, you can swap between them when needed. Uh, chest is also about gold. So it'd be chest and gold, boss gold, all gold, stealth gold. Again, all gold is probably the best if leveled the highest. And chest is normally for pet heart medas builds or boss gold. So it's normally pet or, or um, boss. I've, I've kept chest in because it's the highest one I've got at the moment, 62k nearly. Uh, helmet, oh sorry, aura is is basically it be, it boosts one of the other artifacts. So aura will be boosting helmet, or will be boosting slash or sword. So basically, it boosts one of the other four. That's the main thing about the aura. And slash is your build type. So people, I have been asked a question again. Oh, how do I switch to a clan ship build? Because they they look at uh, click this this section here so it says clan ship damage and this is based on what you're selecting on this slash bit here so if i clicked pet it will then go pet damage and if i clicked heavenly strike heavenly strike so this one's quite important because you need to select what your main build type your what build you're following is so i'm doing a clan ship build so i have to make sure that selected clan ship is all my skill points and everything's level towards clanship so if i select other ones i wouldn't be doing as well uh that's in a nutshell what the equipment is um again i've done more in-depth information about um, equipment videos in the playlist and each equipment so uh commons is silver or white i think uh, that has no secondary bonus then you've got rare and event so is these ones rare and event they have one bonus effect so it could be anything really it, there's so many I've, i can't go through all of them but they give, they give us a, a, a secondary bonus effect like this legendary gives two so if you click on oh i think i've got a legendary item to show you oh yeah like that so as you say like rare's got one which is one of them and then legendary's got two and then mythic has three so that's why mythic items is one of the well it is the strongest items you can get in a game i've got no mythics to show you but uh when you get a mythic item it gives you three uh, additional bonus bonus damage to it so that's why it's oh, well that's why it's so expensive and that's why the whole set again a full set gives you such a massive push so whenever you get a, a full mythic set during the tournament you you'll notice the difference
a majority of them and that's it for this episode um so in the next one i'm simply going to prestige i might level up some artifacts and then push so this one was just, uh, i'm just going through some uh, comments explaining a few bits and basically just leveling up my books of shadows if you've got any comments that you want me to answer in the next video leave a comment below and i will go through them as best as i can uh, so see you all in the next video and stay safe well healthy awesome and have fun guys it's been a bit